I started in uh, August of 2015 when the house reopened. And I as well. So the original docents. We are original docents, yes. I was retired. Uh, I enjoy talking about uh, Jupiter history. I've lived in this area since 1967. I knew the Du Bois family uh, and I felt like it would be very interesting to learn more and be able to impart that to uh, visitors to the house. Uh, when I saw the advertisement for the Du Bois house uh, looking for docents, I said why not? And uh, it's very close to my house and um, I, get, I just got hooked. Once I was vetted and, and uh, did my research and so on, I just fell in love with the place. We lead tours, we show them the house, we talk about the shell mound that the house talk, uh, stands on, we talk about the Hague Indians who created the shell mound, why they created it, what happened to them. Uh, we talk about the building of the house and the uh, romance between Harry and Susan, which people enjoy hearing about uh, them uh, having their first date, a blind date at the lighthouse and being able to um, be have the proposal at the top of the lighthouse and uh, just things like that, uh, little things that we've learned from our studies uh, to give them a, a feeling of what life was really like. I start by telling them, my visitors, all about the house, the structure of it, everything about the house, the, the midden, um, and then I do a chronological timeline of the family starting with 1871 when Harry Du Bois was born up until 1977 when Susan Sanders died at the age of 101 and a half. And then lastly I show people the house. It's very important because you, you figure that the, the Du Boises were among the original settlers of, of Jupiter, the original pioneers here and, and, the, and the history is just fascinating. Just their life is, is uh, the history of their life is a reflection of, of all the other of pioneers that, that settled here, the Carlins and uh, all the others, and um, it's, it's the heart of what created Jupiter. But I think a lot of people um, aren't aware of how much history there is here, and um, they've never heard of a midden, for example. I had never heard of a midden until I, <laughs> until I became a docent here. I didn't know, I never heard the word before. but. Um, you know, people find those things very interesting and, and they, they, they do take away a lot from our tours. They really do. They really do. I'm surprised how many people come and say, I've lived in Jupiter all my life and I've never seen the lighthouse, I've never been in the Du Bois house. I think the different docents give uh, a slightly different tour. We have our own specialized interests. So I think if a person came on a different day and, and got a different docent mm. to lead the tour, mm. uh, they might get a, a little different view of the house. Sure. There are some that are extremely interested in the World War II aspect, some more interested in the, uh, the Celestial Railroad connection. Um, I talk about Trapper Nelson and the connection with Trapper and Jonathan Dickinson and uh, the Seminoles. So uh, we all have our, our, our points of view. The reaction of the visitors, absolutely. That's what it's all about: is getting getting the reactions from the from your your visitors. That's what makes it all so great. So I love to talk about the things in the kitchen, uh, the 1927 GE monitor top refrigerator, and talk about uh, how that was picked up from a woman who sold it back in two, maybe 2010, and she was still using it. So how long things used to last. And then I talk about the telephone on the wall from the 1930s and explain this, the, uh, the system of ringing the operator and the party line, and especially when kids come in. And they ask questions like, well, where did they take their shower? Uh, how did she, where was the hospital that she had her babies in? And we, there was no hospital where you had babies in, you had babies at home and there was no shower, there was a big copper tub you'd pull out in the kitchen, heat water on the stove. And so it's a different world, especially for the kids.